Hello everybody and welcome back. The last time we uh, said that we are going to talk about quantum numbers. So quantum numbers are four. The first one is called the principal quantum number. The principal quantum number was used by uh, Bohr, the scientist Bohr, to describe the hydrogen atom's spectrum. And he referred to this number as a small n. This small n is used to describe the number of energy levels in a certain atom. So, for example, in the hydrogen atom, n equals 1, because there is only one energy level, and so on. This is the first use of the principal quantum number to describe the number of energy levels in an atom. The second use of the principal quantum number is to describe or to tell the maximum number of electrons that can be found in a certain energy level. This is according to using a formula which equals 2n of power 2. 2 multiplied by the principal quantum number squared. So let's apply this rule. For the first energy level, n will equal 1. So it will be 2 multiplied by 1 of power 2, which is 2 by 1, which gives 2. So the maximum number of electrons in the first energy level is 2 electrons. The second energy level will be 2 multiplied by 2 squared, which is 2 by 4, which gives an 8. So the maximum number of electrons that the second energy level can take is 8 electrons. The third one will be 2 multiplied by 3, all of power 2, which is 2 by 9, which gives 18. And the fourth will be 2 multiplied by 4 of power 2, which is 2 by 16, which gives 32. Now, if we continue, the fifth energy level will be 2 multiplied by 5 of power 2, which is 2 by 25 and gives 50. The sixth will be 2 multiplied by 6 of power 2, which is 2 by 36, which is 72. And the seventh will be 2 multiplied by 7 of power 2, which is 2 by 49, that gives 98. The rule is wrong in these cases and right in these ones. Because the maximum number of electrons which can be found in an energy level, to let it be stable so that the atom the atom state still stable is 32. So the rule can be applied in the first, second, third, fourth energy level, and for the fifth, sixth, and seventh, the maximum number is also 32. So these numbers are wrong. So this is for the principal quantum number. Last thing I'm going to say is that the principal quantum number is only a whole number. It means that the principal quantum number equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. The maximum number of energy levels that can be found in an atom, the heaviest atom found in its stable or ground state, is 7. So there is not an eighth energy level in an atom in its stable state. So we can see only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. There aren't any fractions like 1.5, 1.25, 1, and the third. There are no fractions, just whole numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So uh, this is the principal quantum number. And we said that it describes the number of energy level. Now, in each energy level, there are some secondary uh, orbitals. These secondary orbitals are expressed by the second quantum number. And this second quantum number is called the, the subsidiary 
quantum number and we refer to this by a small l so subsidiary quantum number subsidiary means secondary quantum number because it's it expresses the number of secondary orbitals in each energy level and that's what we are going to talk about in the next time and until then I thank you for watching and see you.